Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to import Eagle schematics into the AllCAD Capture or Capture CIS programs. So we can do this from the file import Eagle schematic translator. We've got a really useful help document, so I'd say I would recommend having a look at that. And this basically walks us through what we need to do, what it does with the translator. Uh, we must make sure that the Eagle schematic is in XML format. We must make sure that it's an Eagle 6.5 or newer. Um, and then there's some other kind of like default options we need to check. So uh, it's worthwhile having a look through this documentation. It gives us some limitations and some workarounds. Um, so it also talks about some character handling, etc. that we need to check. So have a, have a good look at this help document before you start. That might help you out with any errors that you're going to see. Once we've got all that information, we can then effectively browse for our file. So let's go and find the file. So there's my .sch file, uh, output path. So let's just go to make a new folder called Eagle. I'll leave the defaults checked. So clean up intermediate files and forced labels and un un unconnected wires, and then we'll click on translate. So I do get a log file. It's actually going to give me a log file showing me all the differences and what it's done, what it's found, what it's done from a, a naming point of view for your symbols and your wires. So have a look at the log file if you're interested. It's automatically launched the project file, so it's going to go and make a new project file. We'll click OK. And then we'll just kind of page one. There's my design, it's looking good. Um, so I can double click a part. Let's go and have a look. Yeah, it's transferred some properties as well. So I've got things like PCB footprint and the value property as well. 